we're going to have a look at decorating uh, Depron or modeling foam, either one. And uh, a few things I'm going to talk about. I'm going to uh, briefly go over using uh, felt pens. And mainly we're going to focus on using uh, different uh, sorts of paints and look at how to decorate the plane. Now, if you've gotten to this stage where the plane's built, you've probably left it a bit too late. You're going to find it hard to paint in around the electronics and into tight spaces like this. So if you've gotten to this stage, you're, you're probably going to find it hard to decorate it. When you want to start decorating is at this stage. So basically, before you build the aircraft, with all the parts there, that's where you want to start decorating. So I've got this one here. We're going to go through the process. We're going to decorate it and then build it and see how it looks when it's finished. So let's look at the different sorts of paints first. So basically you've got uh, your water-based enamel. Now I'll show you an example here. Okay, here's an example. The black paint you can see here is, uh, this is uh, non-water-based enamel. So that's just normal enamel. And you can see how it's eaten away at the foam and curled the foam up. That's no good. So this water-based enamel uh, produces this sort of coating. And of course it doesn't damage the foam at all. Okay, so the best thing to use if you're using a spray can, it's water-based enamel. There we go, like that one there. And if you're using an airbrush like this, you'll want to use a, a high flow. This is a high flow acrylic. This one just here. Okay, so that's best for the airbrush. All right, we'll just have a look at an example. Now, this one here, this has been painted with the, with the high flow acrylic. Okay, but you can see it's, uh, I've put some tape on there and peeled it off and it's actually taken the surface off. So this is what happens when you spray paint Depron. The paint doesn't actually stick to the Depron. So we have to do something to the surface. We have to prepare the surface. And uh, also you, well, let's do an example here with the pen. Okay, let's just put some lines and color in a bit here. Okay, so you can see the the color is uh, is really quite faded out. Okay, when you just use pen on Depon as well. Okay, so neither of these methods is really uh, successful just straight on the Depon itself. So we're going to have to prepare the surface. And what we use for preparing the surface is this. Okay, so this is called Ink Aid. And uh, in some places it's called Ink Assist or Mod Podge or something like that. But basically you can get it from any any art shop uh, and they'll have this product here. Now this product it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit thick you've got to shake it up but we're going to have a look at how we use it. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually do a little bit of painting. All right so your ink assist basically we're going to mix it 50-50. Uh, so we've got a cup here all right, so what you need to do is, you, this is actually too thick the way it is. It's not going to go onto the, the foam well. So you're going to mix uh, half and half. So this, mostly, this can be mixed with water. Uh, most varieties of this you buy. Just check the instructions on the back. But usually it can be mixed with water. Um, I'm going to mix this one with uh, Windex or window cleaner. Might be called something different in your country. Now the window cleaner that you want is uh, preferably the clear one. Okay, here it is here. You can get the blue one as well. It won't make a lot of difference, but uh, I like to use the clear one. And with this, it does tend to, to dry a little bit faster. So that's why I like to use it. Okay, there we go. So it's just 50-50 mixture. Put that back there. Right. So there's our mixture there, we'll just mix it up. Okay, this is going to be nice and runny. It's going to be basically a, a water-like uh, consistency. And there it is there, all mixed up. So we're going to look at spraying this onto a, a piece of paper. Sorry, a piece of foam. Okay, now there's a couple of ways that you can do this. If you've got uh, an air gun, you can actually use this. Okay, I've just got this cheap one. This cost me about $50 on eBay. It's just a rechargeable airbrush, and um, yeah, it's quite cheap, and it does the job. Okay, so we can put a little bit in there, 
and we can spray it. Okay, of course you can see the problem here, you're spraying something that's white onto a surface that's white and it's, uh, it's very hard to see where you've got it and where you haven't got it. So I'm going to, so doing it this way of course you're going to have gaps, uh, you're going to miss bits and do things like that. So I'm going to show you a better way to do it. What we're going to use instead is a container, it's going to put a little bit in there, you don't need much at all, just a tiny bit. So we're going to use one of these foam, these foam art brushes. Okay, we're just going to put a little bit on the brush, not too much. It's not a brush, it's a roller, isn't it? There we go. A little bit on the roller. Okay, so let's take our, our first part. Okay, here's our first part of the airframe. So what I'm going to do is just with the roller, I'm just going to go around the edge bits. Okay, I won't do the, the whole lot, it's just an example. So what I'm going to do is with the roller, I'm just going to go backwards and forwards one way, and then the other direction. I'll put it up here so you can see. Okay, so this is going to give us an, an even coating over the whole surface. And the best thing is because you've done it with a roller, you can actually see where you've gone. Okay, now you might notice something else if I bring this up close. Right. So, okay, there you go. You can see all the uh, the bubbles and, and froth on there. So don't worry about that. That's actually going to disappear. When it dries, they'll all disappear. They'll all be gone. And you'll just be left with a, a nicely coated surface. All right, we'll have a look at uh, a surface we've got here. One I prepared earlier. Okay, so here it is here. So on this half of the sheet, I'll put this away for drying. Okay, so on the on the right hand side of the sheet here, we've got the, the prepared surface, and on the left hand side here, except for those runny bits, we've just got the normal Depron. So I'll just do a little bit of an example with the pen. So this is uh, the pen on the normal Depron, and over here this is the pen on the, the Depron that's been coated with the ink aid. I'll try and get a good shot of that. So you can see that uh, with the, the ink assist on there, or the ink aid, whatever you call it, uh, it really brings out the colour a lot better. And that's, uh, that's going to help the not only the pen, but also the paint stick as well. Alright, so just to recap on that, the first thing you want to do with your surface is apply your, your ink aid or your ink, ink assist. Okay, just roll it on like this with the roller. Okay, nice and thick. It's got to be a water mixture. Uh, I like to use the, the Windex there. Just go around all the edges and I'm going to let that dry. Then I'm going to flip it over and do the other surface. So this is how you prepare all your surfaces for painting. And next we're going to get on and, uh, and look at actually doing some painting with the, uh, with the airbrush. Well, here's the parts that have finished drying. So I've put actually uh, two coats of the ink assist on here and you can see they're all dry there and ready to paint. Okay, so we come to the next section, the painting. We'll just put these parts out of the way. So you might have to wait for maybe, maybe a couple of hours for all the parts to dry. Alright, so the first thing we need is an idea of what the aircraft is going to look like. So I've actually just done some sketches here. Uh, just some ideas of how I want it to look when it's finished. Okay, and I've just coloured them in with a felt pen just to give myself an idea of, of how they're going to look. Okay, so a couple of things with paints. So first of all, you've got your water-based enamel in the spray can. Now you can use that, but um, I don't like to use it because it's actually, it's it puts too much paint on, on the area. And if you're, if you're painting a small part like this, for example, uh, this is just going to blow it away, and you're going to get paint everywhere. It's just uh, it's too it sprays out too much paint. Okay, so what I need to use is what I like to use actually is one of these. So it's the airbrush. With this one, we can just get enough paint in there, and we can just do very fine painting. So what I'm doing for this project, we're, we're using a cream color for the the body. That's going to go all over the body. 
and uh, a dark maroony red color uh, for the highlighting. Okay, so these are the paints. Now these are these are high flow acrylic. Um, you can just use it straight out of the bottle. I've mixed my own here. Uh, I won't get into into how to mix paints because that's something you can just Google yourself on and watch on YouTube. So I'll just give you a bit of an example of the the airbrush. Just mix the paint up. I've actually mixed this uh, this paint myself, so I need to mix it up before I use it. Okay, we'll put a little bit in there. Right, so we're going to choose a small part. I'll just, uh, some of the parts we're going to paint the whole part. So I'll show you how to paint the whole part first. And uh, then we'll look at painting, doing some pinstriping, things like that. I'm just going to use my little tool with three pins on it there to, to hold the part. Okay, so basically with this, this airbrush, you, it's good to use the airbrush because you can just pull it back very gently and you can get a very fine flow coming out of paint. So this is something you can't do with a, a paint can. Or you can stand back and cover a large area. So it's just perfect for what we want. Okay, so here's my part here. So let's put a little bit of paint on it. Okay, so just for the first coat, I'm just going to put a, a gentle light coat on, not too much. Let's get it around the edges there. You can move in close around the edges to get enough paint in. There we go. Right, so that's not, uh, that doesn't have its dark red color yet, but it's just the first coat and it looks quite good. So we're just going to set that down to dry. And we'll come back and repaint it. I might give it three coats uh, before we get the, the color that we need. So that's how you do the, the parts where you're going to paint the whole part. Um, of course, for this, this part here, the body parts, I'm going to be painting the whole part uh, with the creamy color. So I won't do that on the video, but I'll, I'll do that before we move on to the next section. So here's the finished parts. Okay, this, uh, this is after three coats of paint. So you can see we've got a, a red color here. It's become quite a deep red color. And for the body parts, it's a, probably a bit hard to see, but we've gone with a, a creamy sort of color. So that's the color scheme, uh, red and cream together. Okay, so we need to move on to the next part. Uh, this is fine, you can just, just paint parts to the individual like this as, as a whole. But what we want to do, I'll just move this out of the way. What we want to do really is we want to make our design here. So for example, with the wings, we'll just do the wings as an example. We want to have this sort of shape here. And that's what we need to do next. So what we're going to need is a template. So we take the wings and the piece of paper. I'm going to align the wings with our templates over there. Okay, I'll line the wings with the edge of the paper, right here. So we're just going to make a template first of the, the part, and then we're actually going to make a template of the, the design we want. So in this example, where we have the, the wing like this, so we've got a shape that comes around here and towards the center of the wing. So let's go ahead and draw that on. Okay, so just sketch it very roughly. Okay, you might want to take a little bit more time than, than I'm doing with this. I'm just doing it very quickly. Okay, so there's our template, and that's what we that's what we want the, the artwork to look like. So the next thing to do is to, to cut that out. Okay, so the reason the reason you need to make templates is, uh, of course, if you want to, to get this uniform on both sides of the plane. If you're just doing a part that uh, 
So the piece once on the plane, a bit of artwork, then of course you don't need a template, you can just mask it and paint it. But with this part, we want this uniform on both sides, so of course we're going to need a template for that. Now I'm cutting these templates out of paper, uh, you might prefer to cut them out of uh, cardboard. Okay, so there's our template. So we can either, we can use this one, or we can use this piece, whichever. Uh, but we can put the template on there. Okay, just like that. And of course, to get it uniform, we just flip it over and put it on the other side of the wing. So with our templates, we can just use a pencil. And then we can just, just trace around just trace around the template with a pencil to get the mark on the paper. Then after we've gotten the mark on the paper, we're going to use some tape and we're going to mask it off. All right, so once we've used our, our template, we've marked out our lines. Now let's see if we can see on here. You can see very faintly the, the line just here. Okay, it's, it's very faint and that's how we want it to be. Uh, we're just using pencil to mark the lines. Okay, so now we're going to go on to the next part, uh, which is masking. So I like to use this model masking tape. Uh, it's a thick one. And I like to use the thin one because the thin one can actually go around corners. Uh, just as an example, when you put it on, you can actually, using your thumb, press it down and you can actually go around the curve like that. So it's quite easy to use. So what we'll, what we'll do is we'll mask off this line here. You can see we've got a, a line at the, the bottom of the fuselage here, which is going to be painted. So we're just going to quickly mask that off and give it a paint. Okay, so I won't go through the whole masking process, but we'll just do a little bit. Starting at the front here and just doing it bit by bit and following the line, this is a nice gentle curve, so it's very easy. Okay, so well, there we go, you can, you can get the idea there. You need to mask it off and then cover the rest up with paper and then we're ready to paint. All right, so I've cut a, another piece of paper, the same, the same shape as that curve there. Uh, just using the same template again. So we're just going to put this piece of paper on. It doesn't matter if it doesn't exactly fit because we're just going to use another piece of masking tape to attach the paper to that first piece of uh, masking tape we put down. See, we've got a bit of a gap here. That's okay. The second masking tape will cover that up. Okay, so this is where you can use your thicker tape. And with the thicker tape, it does, you just curve it around the curve. It doesn't matter if it, if it bunches up. It's just to attach the paper. Okay, just... so as long as you get a good coverage and get all the all the bodywork covered up, if you need to, just uh, just tear it and put another piece on. Okay, so I need to cover the the end bit up here, but that's just covered up the rest of the body. So that it, uh, that, so that we can paint the curve. And here's the the finished part. We've we've taped. We've put the paper on both sides. Okay, so you can see the part in there, and exposed is the bit that we're going to paint. Okay, so we just uh, just put some red paint in the gun. Okay, and we'll just give it a light paint. Uh, same as before. We're just going to do three coats. So we're going to paint it and leave it for a little while and then come back and do another coat, three coats of paint and then we'll take the paper off and see how it looks. This one's easy, you can paint both sides at once. Okay, so we'll give that three coats of paint and then we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so this one just needs one more coat, so just put a little extra coat on there. So this is the last coat that's going on. We've, uh, we've given it three coats. 
Now normally I'd wait for that to dry to take the paper off, but we're just going to take the paper off and see what it looks like. So three coats is usual enough to get a nice, uh, nice good coverage. Okay, so this is the stripe on the bottom of the fuselage. Let's take the paper off. Okay, now for the piece of tape. Okay, when you take the tape off, try to try to pull it this way. Don't pull it directly up, pull it down this way, like this. It will stop the, the paint below coming off. Okay, there we go. Get a good look at that up here. Alright, so it gives a nice finish. Okay, so that's how it's going to look. We've got our other parts coming on here. This one's just had one coat of paint, so a couple more coats of paint on there, as well as the other part of the fuselage here, and we'll see how the parts look. So we'll have a look at the end result. Here's the parts here, all, all painted. Just uh, zoom in, just have a look at the finish on there. Okay, so there's the wings. And this is the, the main body section, so we've now done the, the tail part here. And also the, the horizontal part. Okay, so with all the painting done, the next thing to do is actually build the aircraft, and we'll have a look how it looks when it's finished. Alright, so going back to our original plan, here's the, uh, the templates we're using. So this is what we're trying to achieve with this paint job. Okay, let's have a look at the finished product. Okay, so there's the aircraft there. Let's turn it around a little bit. Okay, all finished.